All right, YouTube, so here it is. After waiting a month and a half, not really a month and a half, it was a few weeks, my uh, Core i7 custom gaming PC is finally here. Uh, after watching the UPS man kind of drop it out of the back of his truck and ignore the fragile handle with care and this side up message because it was just on its side, and then he just dropped it from the top of the uh like you know truck to the little base where they drop stuff and i was like oh that's a two thousand dollar computer but you know go ahead and drop it that's cool <sighs> get out of here dog uh so here we go we're gonna open it up this is the most exciting part is probably the core i7 uh 4079k i don't know it's i'll have the link or, uh, wow, this is just a lot of exciting looking stuff. Uh, first off, I'm opening this. This is the not so great motherboard I bought. Um, hopefully it's already installed because I'm not going to be able to install anything myself. I don't know what all this junk is, but, uh, maybe my memory card, USB reader, uh, some cables. Okay. We'll put that there for now. I'll plan to upgrade that. That's why I didn't buy another Mac. Even though I love my Macs, I I bought a Windows so that I could upgrade it all later. There's my keyboard. And there is the uh, the whole entire computer. So I'm going to set this down for a second so we can grab the whole entire computer and not drop it. Oh, God. Yikes. Okay. Um... Done. Mission accomplished. Alright, so pick you back up real quick. See what we got on the side. Just kind of tells you how big it is. Front window. I'm really excited to see what this looks like because it's uh, definitely a newer case than a lot of the ones I saw on YouTube that I was looking at. Alright, guys, what did I do with my keys? I put my keys in here. I just lost my keys, and that's how I'm going to open this. I don't know how I managed to lose that, so oh, here it is. Okay, that was no good. But yeah, I'm still waiting on my computer screen to come, so we're not going to really be able to turn this bad boy on. We're just going to kind of open it, look at it, and that's probably about it. So, Whoa! Oh my god, it is a behemoth. Look at this thing. It's huge. This is not easy to do by yourself. In fact, it's pretty hard. Uh, let's put that there for a second. Holy crow, there she is in her entirety, one terabyte, uh, second hard drive, oh my god, no way, look at that, oh, holy shit, this looks unreal, this is really my computer, oh my god, I can't wait to go open this up in my house, but alright YouTube, that's all you get for now, I'm gonna go turn this on and take it home and Buy a surge protector, and oh my god, this is unreal looking. Whew, holy shit. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, watch the rest of my video. Subscribe for more. Check all this crazy stuff out later. Thanks for watching. So after wrestling the boxes and stuff, I finally uh, took my gaming computer back out of the box once more. And doing so, I uh, actually managed to push in the screen for my fan controls. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to push it back out, but you know, that's no big deal. But um, also, I'm going to have to call a powered PC because some lazy effort just put this on a little crooked. Like, I don't know if I had a dream about this, but I feel like I've seen this before in my dream. It's weird. But this also moves. Not...
quite sure why, but it, the whole thing moves in and out. I, I don't understand. I'm not going to do it again. But uh, there it is. Let me turn it sideways so you can see the pretty side. Yeah, that's definitely the pretty side. No doubt about that. And I'll pull. Holy shit, yeah. So, yeah. The little red thing you see there is the uh, SSD I bought. It's a 128 gig Crosshair Force GS series. Uh, it's the first hard drive I got. And the second hard drive, this is, I think, yeah. And then the main, the second hard drive, I don't know what they did, but the nether hard drive, I think, is up here. And that's my uh, second hard drive, which is a one terabyte Western Digital Carver Black. Uh, somewhere in here, which is maybe this mass cool thing, is an iSurf uh, hard disk cooling system. There's two fans in there. It's just crazy looking. Um, we got a headphone port, a mic port, a little reset light. The power button looks pretty cool. A reset button. I hope I don't ever have to use that. There's my card reader and Blu-ray burner. The Core i7 inside. Um, the name of the Core i7 that I bought is the Core i7 4790K, 4 gigahertz, 8 megabytes, in Intel Smart Cache. Uh, it just came out. They haven't been saying much about it, but it's brand new. It uses more power than the last one. Um, there's a really cool looking fan. I'm pretty sure it's going to light up down there. Uh, there's my graphics card and the master, the motherboard I got back there, which I plan to upgrade eventually, but. For now, she'll do. Um, I'm gonna, I guess, plug it in and turn it on so we can see it power up real quick. All right, YouTube. So I finally got uh, the cables plugged in and plugged into the surge protector down here. So uh, other than this hole that I can stick my finger all the way in the computer, it's all right. Kind of weird though. There's a lot of weird things on the computer. But we're gonna power it on, so come on over here. Or you maybe come over there. I don't know. I'm clicking this button for the first time, and nothing's happening at all. So uh, maybe it's because I don't have a switch. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try this again. And uh, looks like we had some better luck this time. Uh, oh my God! Look at this screen up here. Oh oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's pissed. Holy crap! I think that's all the lights we get. It should be a fan with lights on it. Maybe it's this switch. Oh, that's for that. So I know what that switch does. I went ahead and just did that real quick. Oh, uh, maybe that's my blue fan. I think that's a blue fan. Yeah. But uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to show you guys for now. It's turning on. I'm going to do the rest of this myself. This is for my fan speeds. Uh, it's crazy, and I don't understand it at all, so I'm not going to mess with it. But, uh, that's it guys, uh, subscribe for more, so you can see this beast in a few more days, I'm going to compare it to my sister's iMac, which is just the sheer opposite of this thing, but, uh, thanks for watching.